It's Christmas. All right, so what are we looking at here? This is the new Dell UltraSharp 27 inch 4K USB-C monitor. This is uh, what I think is probably one of the best monitors for anybody that's doing content creation right now. So if you're doing uh, YouTube videos, if you're doing live streaming, working with an A10 mini or something like that, uh, this is an excellent choice in a monitor. There's a few reasons for that. One is it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which means it's gonna be the correct aspect ratio for video. A lot of office monitors like this one are 16 by 10, so they're just slightly taller than what would be a normal uh, video resolution. So I wanna check this one out and this is probably gonna replace that one. This model is the Dell U2720Q and is probably the number one choice from Dell right now. They do make a 32 inch version uh, of this. It's actually slightly predates this model, but is in the same lineup. It's also an ultra sharp and uh, should be very similar in spec. I decided to go with the 27 inch because I thought 32 was a little large. This is actually a 32 and I find that I need a full arm's reach length to comfortably view a 32 inch monitor. Um, and if you've got a shorter depth desk, like a 24 inch depth desk, I find it might be just a tad large. So uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. Nice. All right. So right on the top there, U2720Q color calibration factory report. Really nice that they went ahead and color calibrated this. Uh, for most people at home, you won't have the color calibration tooling to do this yourself anyways, unless you're in a kind of pro video, pro photography shop. So nice that it comes factory calibrated. It's got a little helpful sheet in here that just explains the basic hookups and uh, stand stuff um, in case you're not comfortable with that. Uh, nice that it includes some cables. A lot of things, a lot of electronics nowadays include zero cables. So you end up having to spend a bunch more money on cables after you just bought your uh, new toy and before you can play with it and that just drives the cost up. So it's kind of nice that with the premium monitor you get some extras with it. So what do we got here? We got uh, regular display port to display port, kind of your main cable. Uh, and then we've got USB-C to USB-C. This is a USB-C monitor, so it does support power delivery while receiving your upstream USB from your laptop. So you can have a single cable going from your laptop to this monitor to run your whole desk. So that's handy. Uh, we've also got here a USB-C to USB-A 3.0 connector. So in case your laptop or computer doesn't have a USB-C uh, output on it, you can use this one instead and plug that into your monitor. So nice that it comes with all of those. Got your basic warranty and uh, regulatory information on there. Let's get rid of that. And then we've got a stand. Here's the stand base. I love the Dell stands on the UltraSharp monitors. Um, they're really, really nice. We'll take a look at it closer in a second once we get this thing out of the box. Okay. This will be the other half of the stand here. Top part. Power cable. Uh, I love monitors that don't have an external power brick. I like it when they just take a regular power plug. Um, that way you can change the plug out if you need a lo extra long one, like a 10 foot cord or something like that. And uh, there's nothing proprietary or extra to strap to the bottom of your desk. Uh, cable management is always a pain. And if you have another brick to stick under your desk somewhere, it just makes it that much harder. So regular power. And the main attraction. Get this out of here. Box is pretty impressive. It's got uh, lots of blocks of cardboard all around it, some little foam around the front edge, plus a bag and a protector on the front of the screen. So looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna keep this packaging in good condition until I'm 100% done checking it out, just in case of a problem.
All right. Nice little protector on the front there. It does show this is 3840 by 2160. So that is the 16 by nine version of 4K, which is what I want. Dell U2720Q. Let's take a look at that front. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. One of the reasons I uh, love this monitor is what they call their infinity edge or infinity bezel. Um, it's literally got like less than a millimeter of plastic around the edge of the screen here and uh, totally flat front face. There is about a little quarter inch of black around the LCD between the edge and the, and the uh, where there's actually gonna be pixels displayed, but it's totally flat. No, no bumps or bezels or encasings or whatever. So it looks really sharp. I like it. Um, what you can also see on here, uh, there's a little Dell logo at the bottom. I don't mind that. And then there's four buttons down here for the menus and a power button, but uh, super clean face, which I think will look pretty sharp uh, on video or on stream. Let's take a peek at the back. I'm gonna leave that screen protector on there until we actually turn it on. So you'll see down here, we got our regular set of ports. So we've got our power plug down here. Uh, again, that's just a standard power plug. There's no power brick, so I like that. We've got uh, HDMI on here, full-size display port. This is USB-C with display port and with power delivery. So you can have a single USB-C plug into your laptop if it supports it and run everything on your desk. Basically a small docking station. Um, and then that can also be upstream USB because there's now two USB downstream ports on here as well for like a keyboard and mouse or something like that. Um, and uh, oh, and I forgot to point out there's USB uh, a and C on the side of this monitor. Really nice. Not a lot of monitors currently have USB-C as an option on the side. So uh, I love seeing that on there. So also on here, you'll notice the um, option for a monitor arm. This is the uh, VESA standard or VISA standard, um, which is really nice to have because I'm going to use this on a monitor arm. But just to show you how the stand works, because I really like the Dell stands, we'll put this one on there as well. So there's the top arm and the base. Uh, they just uh, stick together like so. And then on the bottom of the base, there's one little screw to tighten up to hold it all together. And then this piece will clip right onto the monitor. And we'll get it up there like so. All right, so I love these Dell stands, like I said, because of the height adjustments. So let's take a look here, what range we got. So we got about six and three quarter inches from the base to here in the full height mode, and it can go down to anything in between there, like so, all the way down to about one inch off the base. So you've got a lot of height adjustability there for different uh, heights and sizes of people. Um, I'm a taller person, so I tend to like monitors that can reach up taller. And I find a lot of monitors that uh, don't have adjustable stands tend to be too short. To give you an idea of the uh, dimensions here, it is 24 inches exactly in width. And just a little over 13 and three quarters, maybe 13 and seven eighths in height. It's gonna be a 27 inch class monitor this way. So it's 27 and a half, including bezel and whatnot. I believe it's gonna be exactly 27 in the actual pixel corner to pixel corner on this monitor. So uh, we'll check that out in a minute here. It also swivels on the base, so you can angle it around your desk. It goes quite far there. And I believe if you put it in the up position, you can also go like that and you've got a uh, portrait monitor. Uh, I know some people absolutely love portrait monitors as their secondary display. So if you wanna have things like live chat or email or other uh, tools that you're using during your workday, then you can have a portrait mode monitor off to one side. Let's uh, power it on and see what we get. Okay, I've got HDMI hooked up because uh, I'm using HDMI throughout my office. Power it 
power this thing on. Nice little Dell logo there. There we go, synced up, HDMI. Beautiful. I definitely love the look of that. Okay, well, I love the monitor. I do love the stand. Um, unfortunately, I need a little more desk space. Um, I would normally use these stands in any normal office situation or, or regular desk, but I do have a monitor arm on my desk just to make more room for some of my other equipment, which is my Rodecaster Pro. Um, so I'm gonna take this thing back off the stand and mount it up on my monitor arm and see how it looks as my main monitor. So let's go. My main monitor arm. Just for reference, I know there's a million monitor arms out there, but this is the Amazon Basics premium monitor arm which was pretty good bang for its buck in terms of weight carrying capacity to price range. So uh, let's give this one a go here. All right, folks, I think I really like this monitor. I love the Infinity Edge bezel. I think it looks really slick on the desk and uh, the panel quality is really amazing for sure as with all the ultra sharp line of monitors from Dell. Uh, I like that it came with some of the cables, the USB-C to USB-C, the USB-C to USB-A, the power cable, all great stuff to be included. Uh, the stand is really nice, although I'm using a monitor arm myself. The bigger question is whether you're going to want the 27-inch model or the 32-inch model of this monitor. That's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, then please leave it a like. If you're liking what you're seeing on the channel, then consider subscribing. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.